Hey, Tom, can you come over here? There's a red light blinking on this. Ooh, red lights. We love red lights. Came in this morning and realized there was a red light blinking on our trainer. It is blinking because you just changed that PLC out. And it doesn't have a firmware in it. So it's at firmware version 1. And what version do we run? Version 32. That's right. Now, we could do this in Studio 5000. But let's talk about how we can do it with Control Flash. So go to your Start menu and start typing Control. And stop. Notice that we have Control Flash, mm -hmm. but we also have Control Flash Plus. And you absolutely want to use Control Flash Plus because it is eons ahead of Control Flash. Would I like to refresh all firmware? Yes. And what this is going to do is it's going to inventory all the firmware that you have available that you can use and put it in the list for you. And now do you see those three yellow rectangles there? I do. Go ahead and click on it. And here's how we're going to browse and go find this PLC. All right, see those boxes marching? Yes. If you don't see those boxes marching, then it's not actually going out there and browsing. So if you don't see the PLC you're looking for, that's probably why. Mm -hmm. We have a lot offline right now, so don't worry about that. We're going to go down to 191 is this PLC's IP address. Okay. And there it is. And we assigned it with the PLC tool SIM IPE. In the device, see it has firmware 1.005? Mm -hmm. So that is the factory firmware, and that means that you just have a new PLC, you haven't done anything to it. If you hit the Flash 2, you have a drop-down there, and here are the versions available. And we're going to flash this one to 32, because that's what we're running in the training center. Okay. Also, see that latest from download? Yes. If you have access to the internet, you can click it, and it'll actually go browse it. That's what makes Control Flash Plus so much easier. Now, we have the internet disabled here at the training center so that you have to go through these painful exercises. You go ahead and click Next, and it's going to give you a warning. And this is really important because this is the equivalent of you changing your operating system, and you can do some bad stuff. So go ahead and close that okay. and click Flash. And this is one time to absolutely just let it do its thing. Don't be playing on YouTube. Don't be, well, if you are playing on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. But don't be checking your email or anything like that. Just let it update. Because if you interrupt this, then you can break this PLC and it'll never work again. Now you're ready to program your PLC. And we've created this playlist to get you started.